Welcome to the Blue Corner. My name is Dennis and it's time for my September collection update. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> what am I gonna do with my Sunday evenings now that I'm almost up to date? <sighs> I guess time will tell. But let's just get straight into it. This time I have a single DVD to start off with and that's Special Forces USA. Not a movie that I knew much about before getting it, but I picked it up because it has Scott Atkins in it. A very young Scott Atkins, one of his very early roles, and it was quite a fun time watching this movie because of him. Because it, it's not a great movie, but just hearing him talk in this one, I guess he changed his accent quite a bit in his later movies. Because had I put this one on, closed my eyes, not knowing he was in it, I would never have guessed it's him. <laughs> it, I guess that's his real British accent, and he changes it quite a bit. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he still has this accent or not, but nonetheless, it was a fun listen. <laughs> so, yeah. Special Forces. And then another stack of Facebook Marketplace bundles. First, I picked up Con Air. Great movie, fun time. And it's one of the older Blu ray releases. So it's for all HD, HD TVs, HD picture, HD sound for use on Blu ray players and PlayStation 3. So, if you got a PlayStation 3, I guess you can watch Con Air. <laughs> Haywire, fun little action movie. I, I'm, I'm not gonna bother too much about most of these movies. The videos, I don't want to make the videos too long. <laughs> Elektra, not a great movie, but I had the Steelbook, which was worth quite a penny, quite a bit of money. So I sold it and made a little money. Shanghai, never seen this one before. Decided to keep it because Chang Fat is in it. And I had planned on hopefully watching it before recording this video, but I got sucked into watching Yellowstone and that's what I've been using my last week on work and Yellowstone and sleep so <laughs> time well spent I guess well I guess that'll when I watch this if I can see if I used my time correctly security Antonio Banderas good little action movie what I'll, I'll say this is he hasn't starred in a lot of great movies recently but I'll, I'll say this, this one is a good little action movie. Direct Contact, Dolph Lundgren. Thought this was another Dolph Lundgren movie, which I can't remember the name of right now. So I was a bit let down when I realized it's two separate movies. And this one's not a good movie. 1941, EMI title I've talked about before EMI releasing a bunch of universal releases here in Denmark this is another one and again another one where John Candy is actually in it so uh, I guess they like they really like John Candy or I just haven't seen the whole catalog they put out The Mist great little Stephen King adaptation another one where I had the steelbook sold it and this version of the Blu-ray was actually out of print. I've said it before, I've realized that a lot of the Danish Blu-rays goes out of print rather fast now. And there's more and more movies that only get a HD digital and a DVD release. I really hate that trend. But yeah, The Mist, good movie. That ending though. Uh, Dumb and Dumber 2, 
nowhere near as good as the original, but it made me kind of be in the mood for more Jim Carrey movies. So I might be looking out for more Jim Carrey movies in the upcoming pickup videos. I, I don't know yet if there's that many I really want, but yeah, there's, there's a few Jim Carrey movies I want to rewatch again because I picked this one up now. <laughs> the Cold Light of Day, more Bruce Willis. Vice, more Bruce Willis. I, I, I quite enjoyed this one actually. Lucky number 11, more Bruce Willis. Surrogates, more Bruce Willis. And this one's a bit weird. This is the weird one of the bunch. I know I've seen it before. I know I've had it in the collection before, but I don't remember this movie at all. It must have been a movie I've only ever watched once and just, I have no idea if I like the movie or not. So th this is one that I, well, one of many that I really need to go back to and rewatch. Planet Terror, Bruce Willis. I never cared too much for this one. So yeah. it is another one that's out of print. So thankfully I was able to find it on Facebook. Alpha Dog. More Bruce Willis. Hell, I didn't even know this had a Danish Blu-ray release. I was really close to picking up the UK edition when I found this one also on Facebook. And I went with the Danish version. Sin City. Another one I had on Steelbook. Great freaking movie. I love this one. And I only sold it because it was the steel book and it went with all the rest. So this was a no brainer for me to get again. I only, it only took this long because there's 4K rumors out there now for both Sin City 1 and 2. So it, I, I picked this up. This was included in one of the bundles. So I bought the bundles for a few other Bruce Willis movies. And I just decided, okay, well, I'll keep this for now. And then without a doubt, pick up the 4K. This is a movie that I do believe will look really good on 4K. So, fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh, that's a couple of German editions here. Apex. More Bruce Willis. Not great Bruce Willis. Far from it. Uh, Deadlock, also German, and not a great movie, but it is one of the few of his later movies that I can say, okay, that I, that's not as bad as the rest. I, I'll I'll say this is an okay movie. The Italian Job remake. Great movie, Jason Statham, <laughs> if I can say it correctly, <laughs> that's enough for me to pick it up. So here it is, can't be missing too many of his movies now. And National Security, Martin Lawrence, also one of the movies you can watch if you have a PlayStation 3. <laughs> yeah, that's a great movie, but it's still fun. Wild Hogs, Martin Lawrence. I, it's I know it's stupid as all hell, but I think this is a fun movie. Big Mama's House two. Not great movies. Again, stupid. I guess you can say that about a lot of Martin Lawrence movies. Stupid movies, but I do believe it's. A fun time watching these movies. Big Mama's House 3. Strangely strangely enough, the first one wasn't included. Only 2 and 3. 
Angel has fallen. Now, I recently picked up 1 and 2 and said I wasn't going to pick this one up because there's a 4K. But this was included in one of the bundles. So, for now, I have the Blu-ray. Gremlins 2. Kept this one because I have a US triple pack which has Gremlins 1, 2 and the Goonies. I have both Gremlins and the Goonies on 4K now, so I decided to keep the standalone edition of the sequel so I can sell the triple pack. So, Gremlins 2. I, I do hope that I, it's nowhere near as good as the first one, but I do hope that gets a 4K title too. And next, Ghost Rider. <laughs> not, not great movies, but I, I, I do actually like the first Ghost Rider. It's another one I had on Steelbook, which I sold, so decided to pick up the MRA. Ghost Rider 2, another one I had on Steelbook, this one, I don't enjoy this one nearly as much as the first one, but it's in the collection. Nine Lives, with the Snipes, and I do believe it's called Unstoppable, or something like that, originally, it doesn't say, I don't remember anything about this movie at all but it's Wesley Snipes so I decided to keep it and it's another out of print title I Robot Will Smith good movie I quite enjoyed this one I actually thought that had a 4k title I have I have bought that in a bundle before but sold it again because like I said I thought there was a 4k and I thought wrong so found it again and kept it this time around <laughs> Nomad the warrior it has marked the Cascas in a roll here and I don't remember the movie at all I have had it before and I remember me selling it because the original audio track isn't included on this blu-ray they dubbed it to English and that's the only track that's on here so, yeah, I don't know. I, I kept it, marks in it, so. <laughs> Eliminators, Scott Atkins, another out of print, Blu-ray, Scott Atkins, had to get it. And I do actually like this movie. Hard Target 2, Scott Atkins, not a great movie. But I don't hate it nearly as much as other people do. Uh, Zero Torrance. Uh, Scott Atkins is in the movie. But as you can see here on the cover. It looks like a Scott Atkins movie. But uh, he is not the lead. So misleading. The Siege. Bruce Willis. Great movie. Motherless Brooklyn I actually quite enjoyed this one and technically I do have a 4k digital version of this one on Google Play so they have the 4k on there and yet there's no actual 4k physical release I hate when they do that I found this cheap and yeah technically I bought it with the siege and just bought this one too so the shipping wouldn't be, or wouldn't seem too expensive for one blue. <laughs> and yeah, I seem to do that a lot. But yeah, Motherless Brooklyn, again, not Bruce Willis led movie, but a good movie nonetheless. American Siege, one of his latest movies, not a good movie. And the latest one at this time. Wrong place. Um, not, not a great movie, but I will say this is one of the better movies of his latest. 
bad movies. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I, I didn't hate this movie. It, it was an okay little movie. So, yeah. Wrong place. Let's see. Little Boutiques. All the way from Australia. I picked up Breaking News. Johnny Toe movie from Chameleon Films. Sadly, a, I can't be buying too many movies from Australia as they get caught in customs. Chameleon Films isn't IOSS registered, so I have to pay import taxes when they put out movies. And that bugs me quite a bit because they have two amazing Johnny Toe movies now and looks like there's more on the way. So, the first in their line, they have numbers on the spines, so they are really trying to lock people into buying all the titles. I, I didn't fall for it this time, but who knows. <laughs> so, I picked up Breaking News. This was a first time watch. This was a Johnny Toe movie I would never seen before. I knew of it, but simply never came across it. And I really enjoyed this movie. This is such a good movie. And I'm so glad <laughs> that I got it now. And I've already watched it twice since getting the Blu-ray. So if they keep getting more Johnny Toe movies, I might have to suffer the consequences of customs. But we'll see. Also... Chameleon Films, Johnny Toe, number three. I skipped number two because I didn't really have that much interest in that one. But I'm picking up the Johnny Toe movies no matter what. He is such a good director. These movies are so great. And Exiles I had actually seen before. And when I saw them having this one, okay, I, I'm, I'm buying them because of this one. And turns out I actually like Breaking News way more than Exiles and I do enjoy Exiles too it, it's just Breaking News was a little more fast paced action where this is a bit more slow burn action but both great movies then from 88 films I picked up On The Run Yun View uh, again another movie I had seen before many years ago but because this one isn't martial arts action-packed in view i i guess i didn't give it a fair chance back then because it's again several years since i watched it originally and didn't care too much for it back then but watching it now not expecting martial arts i this is a good movie it's a dark movie it's really dark and some of the stuff they do in this movie is like, okay <laughs> damn that they're, they're taking a chance on that one but it's it's dark it's I, I can't say it better than that it's a dark movie and I don't mean you can't see what's going on, on the screen it's dark so <laughs> it's, yeah good movie just dark that's all <laughs> and and then when I bought on the run they didn't have any other pre-orders coming out the same day so simply to again make off off balance the shipping a bit I had to find something else so I picked up the anaconda collection which has the, the separate releases included and <laughs> even now i don't know why i decided to pick up the set because i, I already had <laughs> the first limited edition set i just where you it's just pulled out like that it's the same exact discs it's just different packaging Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know why, but I, I guess I'll. You see now, I can't decide. Do I keep both or 
do I sell this one? I, I do actually like taking this one out again. I, I do actually like this artwork here. So, yeah. Double dipping again at its finest, simply to off balance the price of shipping. The shipping for both of these releases was the same as if I just bought this one, so. Uh, yeah, uh, well, enough of that. That's the Blu-rays. Let's continue to the little stack of 4K titles. From Germany, I picked up Cosmic Sin. Uh, Germany will put out anything. And this is one of the best proofs you can get. They put out a recent Bruce Willis movie on 4K. <laughs> so, yeah. And it even came with a slip. I didn't know that. And it, it is just the 4K disc, no Blu ray. So, and I talked about it in my August update that, that there was. Breach and Cosmic Sin here. That's one of them that I liked just a tad bit more than the other one. And I, I do actually believe Cosmic Sin is the one that was okay. And and thankfully you can peel off the rating sticker from the slip cover. So there's always that. <laughs> then from the UK I picked up Aladdin, another one I had on Steelbook that I sold. So, yeah, I picked up. I, it. <sighs> yeah, it's a good movie. I, I I like Aladdin. It's not one I'm rushing back to all the damn time, like a lot of other movies. But I enjoyed it. I I don't care too much about the live action Disney movies at all so but it's Will Smith so I gave that one a try and I I liked it then from Scream Factory I picked up the fork finally more John Carpenter movie movies from I I've said it before I do I there's 4k titles out elsewhere but I do prefer when I have one from Scream Factory, and I know if they've done them on Blu-ray, then I do prefer getting as many as possible from the same label. And finally, we do have The Fog from Scream Factory, which has been out on 4K in the UK for a while now. So, but I decided to wait for Scream Factory. I just don't like that. Well, it, technically, in this case, there is alternate artwork. But when it comes to Scream Factory and 4K, it's really hit and miss. Which one does get alternate artwork, which one doesn't. Hmm. Also from Scream Factory, The Fun House. This one is one I enjoy quite a bit. I did have the Arrow Blu-ray standard edition way back when. And I don't remember ever having sold it. But it's just gone. I can't find it in the collection anywhere. So I was looking here and there for a used copy of it on Blu-ray that I was gonna pick up. And then Screen Factory announced a 4K. Okay, I'm getting the 4K. <laughs> I'm holding out for the 4K then. And now it's in the collection. I've I've always enjoyed this one. And that's another one with alternate artwork. So, I had to get that one. Then I picked up Friday the 13th. Oh, after not, well, after picking up the complete box set not that long ago, we do get 4K tiles now. <laughs> it's so far only the first one. And I just. I, lo I love the fran of Friday franchise. I don't know if I really needed this one on 4K, which could be said about a lot of movies, but <laughs> I picked it up. And 
while I haven't watched this, I'm not hearing the best things about the quality. It's way too dark. I, I, I don't know if that's the HDR or Dolby Vision, whatever I saw on this one. Uh, yeah, it does have Dolby Vision. And it's one guy says it's good, one says it's bad. I guess I have to put it on and judge for myself eventually. And then finally, the last 4K in this update. And yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm gonna say the pick of the month, even though I'm not 100% happy with this box set. I picked up the Police Story trilogy. Finally, Super Cop has a good transfer out Blu ray 4K, whatever format you prefer. It is from Eureka. Uh, I've talked about my gripes with Eureka before, and I guess I do have a few on this one too. Now, Police Story 1 and 2 was released on Blu-ray from Eureka before and Police Story 1 has the Japanese cut included on the Blu-ray that cuts missing on this set so I don't know do I keep the Blu-ray set or do I sell it <laughs> it has that missing cut and, and just this one I they did apologize for not doing this but I I don't know the reason but they only have the original artwork they did announce that they would include Kung Fu Bob artwork on these editions and I guess that fell through because they aren't so I would have liked to have that out instead they put well take they put the art artwork on you see here put them in a completely black case and yet they put inside artwork on the sleeve that you would have no idea was there if you didn't check because can you see that artwork I can't <laughs> it's it, I, I don't know that's just always something I'm not completely happy with when it comes to Eureka I'm really glad they exist that they put out these titles but just even with what's going on with 88 films now it 88 films is just miles ahead of Eureka in my mind so I would have preferred 88 films having the rights to some of these Eureka titles but enough babbling on about that please do hit the like button please do leave a comment if you can and until next time thanks for watching peace out